Let's move on because JP Morgan faces shareholders at its annual meeting in Tampa, Florida in a few hours time and it is likely to be a very stormy affair. Of course, that's after the largest US, US investment bank admitted on Thursday that traders had lost $2 billion in six weeks after their strategy basically backfired. Last night, President Obama said the losses reinforced the need to reform Wall Street. And on Monday, the bank confirmed that a senior executive involved in the losses, Ina Drew, is to retire. She was 50 or she is 55. Mr. Obama spoke about the bank's losses on the ABC's The View. JP Morgan is one of the best managed banks there is. Mm. Jamie Dimon, the, the, the head of it, is one of the smartest backers we got. And they still lost $2 billion in counting precisely because they were making bets uh, in this, these derivative markets. We don't know all the details yet. Uh, it's going to be investigated. But this is why we passed Wall Street reform. OK, well, let's get more. Chris Roebuck is a professor at the Cass Business School here in London and joins us. Chris, always good to have you in the yeah. studio. So the first chance for shareholders really to get a crack Indeed. at Jamie Dimon. But um, look, I'm looking at some of the, the, the wire copies. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are calls for him to step down as chairman. Yes, and, and there's a the number of issues there. First of all, to be honest, I wouldn't want to be in his shoes in Tampa today. Um, bearing in mind his immaculate timing to have a corporate disaster three days before his AGM <laughs> was not good. So uh, historically, there's always been an issue uh, in the States and, and this country about whether you have a separate chairman from your CEO. And in this country, the general consensus is that there should be a separate chairman to give oversight to the CEO and just make sure that nothing is going off the rails. In the States, there tends to be an acceptance that you can have both. I suspect that this was building up anyway, but what happened this week is probably going to push that much, much harder, and people are going to say, we need to have somebody else in there to give that extra oversight. Yeah, absolutely. And I guess, look, President, some will say President Obama <laughs> said it very nicely on that program on the ABC last night in the United States. Um, the regulation, this tougher yeah. regulation, ja yeah. Jamie Dimon has, has been opposed to it, but mm -hmm. I guess the question is, and for layman, we're going, if this can happen, at this bank, which everybody says one of the best managed yep. banks in the world, it can yep. happen to certainly a lot of others. Yes. Uh, uh, the, real, the real worry here is actually if we look at what happened, for example, to UBS with the rogue trader, that was an individual doing something wrong getting around the systems. So but what happened here was a strategy that was being put forward and planned and executed at the highest level that went wrong. And if Jamie Dimon says it had errors, sloppiness and bad judgment, things must have gone seriously wrong. So there are a number of questions there about what on earth is happening at the senior level. The good thing, however, is generally speaking, Jamie Dimon's history is pretty good, but he does have challenges. He's got to get the market back on side. He's got to get his shareholders back on side. And also people forget he's got to get his employees back on side because in the States, there are a lot of retail employees within JP Morgan who are all working really hard to make the bank earn money, who are saying to themselves, hang on, we're making it earn money, but you guys in the center are blowing that money like there's no tomorrow. What went wrong? And he has to get credibility back with his employees employees just as much as anyone else. Absolutely. Well, anybody else also yeah. talking about shareholders on the side because I would Absolutely. imagine at this AGM they'll be talking about pay packages uh, for the year and we've seen the shareholder revolt yep. right at, at several AGMs in the past few weeks. Yep. Could we expect to see a similar sort of mm, tense, tension? Well, it's, it's building up into a, a Hollywood drama, the perfect storm. As I say, I wouldn't want to be there because he's got the chairman and CEO issue. He's got questions maybe about uh, executive remuneration and he's got the issue about what what went wrong over the last six weeks and as I say the big problem is it wasn't an individual doing something wrong it was a strategy approved at a high mm. level that went wrong and that is completely different and that puts into place some very big questions about who did what and how they got away with it and how Jamie Diamond didn't even know so maybe there might be some pressure on him to say why didn't you know yeah absolutely I know Chris you really will want to be there you would love <laughs> to be there I know that okay Chris thanks Indeed. for joining us thanks for your input Chris Roebuck uh, joining us from the cast Business School, where are we? 